Hi, wonderful parents and devoted teachers. I'm Dr. Flett, and today I'd like to talk about something that many of you might find increasingly relevant, the importance of a comprehensive pediatric assessment for children who may have a range of challenges. You see, children have complex personalities, they're complex beings. They may be excelling at school, or even in social activities, and yet there may be underlying issues as we as adults often overlook. Take for example ADHD. It's a condition that many associated with hyperactivity, but there are nuanced inattentive forms that are easy to miss. Now let's discuss something I like to call the support paradox. Parents and teachers often go to great lengths to help children succeed. But here's the thing. Sometimes our support, though well-intentioned, might be masking deeper issues. Untreated or undiagnosed issues often lead to a cascade of other challenges, including emotional distress, poor self-esteem, and even bullying. And let's not forget those physiological effects that can also be significant. Take, for instance, the example of a young boy, let's call him Craig. Despite excelling at academics, he's faced with an array of issues, including sleep apnea, he's a little bit overweight, he's got something called insulin resistance, and emotional challenges stemming from, say, bullying at school. So what do we do about this? That's where a complex pediatric assessment comes in. This is not a regular checkup. We look for emotional, academic, physiological aspects in one comprehensive interview. And yes, we tailor these assessments to focus on the most relevant things for your child. It's, an, it's a matter of collecting huge amounts of information. It's not about doing MRI scans, blood tests. It's not blood collection. It's going through everything. And sometimes parents ask, well, do I need a full assessment? Is it necessary? Teachers often ask that. In order to get a holistic picture, one's got to look at everything. But we can't do this alone. We need you as parents and teachers to provide your observations and concerns. And your input can be invaluable in helping us paint the full picture. That's why it's not a quick, easy assessment. There's lots of information that needs to be collected. I, as a doctor, need to spend at least three quarters of an hour going through all that information, reading, summarizing, getting a complete picture even before the appointment. So if you find yourself concerned about your child's well-being, be it academic, emotional, physiological, and you're not sure, a comprehensive pediatric assessment is often the best first step. It can save a lot of money, unnecessary assessments. It's not always necessary to go to a psychologist. Maybe there's a medical problem. And, you know, even when a psychologist has done an assessment, that often needs to be referred back to the pediatrician. So learn more, check out our latest blog, the link in the description below. And thank you for watching. And remember, give us a like. You know, it helps us uh, produce more videos. It helps us disseminate the information. It helps us do this and also supports the costs of undergoing all these uh, kind of... Um, video preparations, having someone edit it, and so forth. So, you know, the first step for helping your child live their best lives is to often get a complete assessment.